Over the last three years, we've been funded by the state government through their Applied Research Shark Mitigation Program. It's allowed us to test existing shark deterrent devices currently on the market to provide the public with some assurance that they actually work. The sharks are adorned with a very sensitive electroreceptive system, so the shark shield would produce a very strong electric field which would overstimulate the uh, electroreceptors and of course uh, deter the sharks at the same time. We suspended the, the shark shield on a mid-water rig, so we suspended this in the water column and we attracted great white sharks with a bait canister and we used a control to assess the effectiveness of an active shark shield versus an inactive shark shield. One of the reasons that we were drawn to Mosel Bay in South Africa was the existence of a large seal colony uh, within the bay. This is the view that's seen by the stereo cameras. We can see the white bait box there which attracts them to come towards the, the rig and the device. We can see here that the visibility is low, as it always is in South Africa, but you can also see the great whites coming in but are being deterred by the active shark shield. They're coming within about 1.3 metres or so, but they're always changing their behaviour away from the strong electric field emanating from the shark shield. As you can see here, this is a large 4 metre long great white approaching an inactive shark shield where it's attracted by the bait and is in fact uh, mouthing the, the inactive shark shield. This was one of over 300 in encounters and one of 40 individual great white sharks that we were able to uh, monitor um, during the study. In this research it allowed us to very accurately determine the proximity at which sharks would approach and we found with this that when the device was active, sharks upon their initial approach would only approach to approximately 1.3 meters from the device. Now over subsequent encounters, the sharks would actually approach uh, slightly closer each time. So they would habituate to the device over time. And so there was an overall deterrent effect from the device. However, it's important to note that uh, this is not 100%. And so there was one occasion during the testing where a shark did actually interact with the device while it was active, although this was certainly a reduced interaction compared to when the device was inactive. So this was more just the shark bumping the device as opposed to actually biting during the control um, testing when the device was inactive. So with the results of this testing, we now know specifically the electric field characteristics that will deter a white shark. Now it's important to note that although the Shark Shield Freedom 7 was shown to be very effective in deterring white sharks, this result would not necessarily translate to other electric deterrents. Research was important to us to use our knowledge of uh, the sensory systems of sharks and their relatives to try and uh, develop novel deterrents and test existing deterrents. This device is no guarantee of um, avoiding shark attack. Unfortunately, these are large and rather unpredictable animals. I would hesitate to say that no deterrent currently on the market and probably entering the market in the future will be able to 100% guarantee um, safety. But with the, this device and, and our work, the Shark Shield, under the conditions we've tested it, certainly is the most effective um, shark deterrent device currently on the market.